Tommy Odell's return to Brazil begins with many beautiful miracles, like the one that happened to Brother Marcos. He already knew about Tommy's ministry, and he comes to church full of faith, believing that he would be healed. I came from my city to receive my healing. My leg was swollen. The doctor removed the cancer from my thyroid. And there was a bacteria that went up from my leg to my lymphatic gland, and my leg was constantly swollen. They wanted to amputate my leg. I don't trust medicine very much, and after I started reading the Bible, it improved a lot. I could only be healed here. Besides the prayers said by Tommy O'Dell, Dr. R. R. Soares also prays for those who are having difficulties to walk. Marcos takes part of this prayer and he is healed. Just take a look. Why were you using this cane, brother? I had a serious condition. So you couldn't walk properly? No, because it was a bacteria in my leg that went up to my lymphatic gland. Last Saturday I watched Tommy O'Dell on the program and my leg got better. And I prayed along with Tommy. I also had my thyroid removed, but I'm feeling a lot better now. So show us how you walked before. You couldn't walk without the cane, brother? Put it on your shoulder now. You can go home, son of God. Oh, glory to God. But there were other people as well, both in Tommy's prayer as well as in Dr. Suarez's prayers. We see the manifestation of the power of God in the name of Jesus. When I was three years old, I became deaf from this year. There was a constant buzz in my ear. So look that way now, sister. Cover your good ear now. What is your name? Maria Luisa. Where do you live? I live in Hochdale. How long have you been living there? How long? I have been living there for 28 years. Her name is Maria José da Conceição. And your father's name? Euclides Quirino. That's a lot of noise you're listening to now. <laughs> I have received a miracle. I was waiting to do a CT scan of my ear for three years. And where is your happiness now? now? I don't need to do the CT scan anymore. Besides her deafness, our dear sister is also healed by a hernia in her stomach. It was a tumor, you know, a herniated, and it simply disappeared. Look, look. Now I will undergo another exam and tell them that my belly withered. When I got here, my clothes were like this, look. I only put on bigger coats. I'm going to thank God so much for this. I had a pain in my back. How were you walking before? Like this. So walk normally now, man of God. Oh, glory to God. What did Jesus do for you, sister? My arm. I fell down hard about 10 months ago. How high could you lift it up without any pain? I couldn't move my arm. I cried a lot. I simply couldn't get up or lay down. But with faith in God and Jesus Christ, I asked him every day for me to be healed, right? This arm that was hurt, I couldn't lift up high like the good arm, right? And Look now? This. Applaud the Lord Jesus. Thanks be to God. Aren't they the same now? Uh -huh. Aren't they the same? Or am I seeing more than you guys? I couldn't do this either, you know? But thanks to God. Look. What did God do for you, sister? Pain in my knee and the bone spur in my foot. How long have you had that? It's been about four or five months, more or less. How were you walking before? Go ahead, walk normally now. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Run, 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 run. <laughs> I wasn't able to lift up this leg for many months. It was such a horrible pain. I would stumble a lot because I couldn't lift up. How did you up. walk then? I walked like this, Pastor. Like that? Like that. She had, yeah, she like had a that. hernia, a, a big hernia. It was like an orange. Hard. Yeah, is the hernia gone? Could, yeah. So you can walk freely now, daughter of God. He is healing you. I couldn't lift it up. I simply couldn't. But now, for the glory of the Lord Jesus, I have no pain. The Lord Jesus still works. He worked in the past and he works in our days too. I had a very serious problem in my back. And I walked with my legs locked up. I was walking very stiff with difficulty. Since when, sister? This December of last year. So go ahead and walk freely now in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus is so good. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. <laughs> I came from the city of Itapevi just to receive my blessing today, and I received it. Just like the miracles happened during the days of Jesus here on earth, they can also happen today in your life as well. Don't miss the opportunity to live that which God has in store for you.